Hi, panel. Um, a question specifically for Adam. After MasterChef's trio of judges left the show due to Network 10 declining their demands of a pay rise, on top of their million dollar salaries, it appears that the panel chose their financial status over the true purpose of the show, to encourage a passion for cooking. Who then do you believe should be the next panel of judges on MasterChef? <laughs> <laughs> and what values will they encompass to reinforce the true meaning of the show? Now, I'm not going to come to you yet. I'm going to come to so you keep that in mind. Let's start with Kimberly on that one. Who should be the next panel of judges and what values should they encompass to reinforce the true meaning of the show? Well, I think one of the beautiful things about cooking is, uh, is you know, you can share it with people. There's love and generosity in that. So I would like to see, um, you know, some of those attributes in a show on cooking. Uh, you know, I'm, I have a really very dear friend of mine who is very Anglo, she's her, her heritage is British and Scottish. She makes world's best tzatziki, but there is something very lovely about that sharing of food and, um, you, know, what, you know, what it means when she gives you that. I think it's a lovely thing. So I think... Okay, so that's the values. I think people are looking for names uh, tonight. Names. <laughs> um, names. I can't remember, the one who does the Great British Bake Off. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think she's excellent. All right. <laughs> Parnell. Goodness, I'm trying to think of the names of some chefs and some restaurateurs who I really admire, but it's dangerous to talk in those terms these days, <laughs> aren't they? Here. They <laughs> just might ideas. come out the next day and there'll be some scandal. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I would, I would say I'd like to see some of the best restaurants in, in Sydney sending along their, uh, their, their top chefs, perhaps in rotation as judges on this. And, um, and as for, in terms of values, look, I absolutely agree with Kimberly. Food is about connection, it's about love, it is about burning off your stress at 3 a.m. because you really need to cook a pheasant right now. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's about so many things and, and I think you can actually, instead of always having this, this tense atmosphere in these MasterChef programs where it's all about recreating the worst of a kitchen, It'd be fantastic to see the shows recreating what is best about cooking. OK, get some of the tension out of MasterChef. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that would do, the ratings, but Eric? <laughs> Look, um, <laughs> on this one, I need a white flag to raise very, very quickly. Cooking has never been my forte. I was sport for 30 years by a lovely wife that always loved cooking for me, and uh, I confess I've got nothing to add. But what I will add... If you're looking for somebody for your panel, I understand there's a Jessica Barrow in the audience that might be a worthy of consideration. OK, <laughs> all right, well, we'll look for Jessica afterwards. Tim? Well, I want to offer myself. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You've been there before. I have. I have. I, I he have, was actually uh, a MasterChef judge. I was a MasterChef judge. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was never Dalai, invited back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the Dalai Lama was on and... Uh, they kept saying, what do you think? And he'd giggle and say, uh, it's good. What do you like? He'd say, the bread. They go, the bread? <laughs> do you like this more than this dish? He'd say, no, just the same. And suddenly it hit me. I said, your holiness, as a Buddhist, you're not allowed to judge, are you? <laughs> and he said, no, we do not judge. And I saw Matt, Gary and what's his name? George. 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 I'm to say that still. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Gary and George, faces fall. They were asking the Dalai Lama to do something he couldn't do. They quickly threw to me and I said, look, I'm a Christian. I'm into judgment. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I like. So, uh, so I think I'm qualified. <laughs> All right. Adam, a master chef without tension, a master chef without <laughs> judging and a set of judges that will represent love, generosity and connection. Who is it? I, I, Are we I, looking at him? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can tell you that I have not received a phone call at all <laughs> on this. But I, I, MasterChef Australia is the most uh, influential uh, cooking show in the entire world. And the reason that it is so popular and it connects with so many people is that it reflects the incredible food that we have here in Australia, the way that we cook in our own homes, the diversity of influences and the wonderful produce that we have. Mm. Unfortunately, one person who is not going to be on the judging panel, um, who I'd like to acknowledge, is Margaret Fulton, who mm. very sadly mm -hmm. passed away uh, last week. She was a legend of Australian food. I'd like to honour her life and acknowledge that she is literally the woman that taught 
Australia How to Cook. Mm -hmm. And my condolences go out to Suzanne, Kate, Louise and all of the Gibbs, Keats and Fulton families. Mm. Here, here. I think you can't stop there. I think you have to go to who would you see on the panel? <laughs> <laughs> Not um, yeah, I, I... Margaret would never have done it anyway. She said she doesn't <laughs> like all that fancy stuff and that malarkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not going to give you any names. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sure that there's people that are in discussions on that at the moment. I can tell you absolutely that I'm not one of them. You're not interested or you're not one of them? It's the best job in television and the best job in food. I don't think anyone in the, in the country would not be interested in that job, but uh, I haven't had a phone call yet. OK, well, everybody, come on. I think we need to hear it for Get Behind Adam Law. It's loud. We're starting it now.